What's up, what's up everybody? Welcome once again to our YouTube channel at Otenga Junior. Guys, meet the wife of Seth. Hello. How are you? Where are you headed to? Where are you headed to? Going to where? <laughs> you want to tie the, the cows, yeah? Yes. Yeah, guys, you remember Seth having, he has got some two cows. That is oh, the two cows. And now, you know, Seth is in work, at work. And now the wife is helping Seth to look after the cows. It is fantastic and good. So welcome once again to our YouTube channel. That is Otenga Junior. It is a fantastic and fun moment where we are waking up and we are glad of it. Hey, my brothers. How are you? Are you where are you guys from? To? Buy some baking. Oh. You guys were sent to buy baking. Yeah. Today is a visitor day. Wow. In law, in law, Danny is coming. Okay, no problem. Yeah, guys, they are from the shop where they were sent. Uh, today, Baba Frank and the family are having a visitor that is coming. So, the preparation, uh, how they were preparing for the visitor, I think it is in the other video. That is Otenga Travels. You might as well go check it out and see how things are moving along in that particular uh, home, homestead now. Wow. Did you know, like today, we can meet you going to bed and waking up? It is not assured. Assured. It is not assured. But as we can see, yeah, things are okay. It is by God's grace that we are alive. I want to take this opportunity to thank all the donors who have been uh, with us in all the charity projects that we have been running. And uh, through your donation and through your support, all it is possible because we couldn't have made Kitembe village up to this level where it is. It is, it is. Yeah, yeah, Come on, Yadela. And give them a fine. Yeah. Yeah, guys, that is one of the guys who is having a TV show. A TV arena. Wow. I'm seeing something here. But these ones are not safari ants. They are purely ants, you know. So just remember, they are just motorbikes. Just, that just passed, so it interfered with them, you know. Yeah. These ones, you can see there, those ones are still on the journey. But here, uh, the motorbike that just passed interfered with their movement yeah so some are going back some are coming you know it is bringing some a little bit confusion because there must be a leader and the leaders are already they're already gone so maybe that is how their family is going to be destroyed maybe these other ones they are going to make their families alone you know wow the descendants anyway it usually happen like that. As you know, long time ago there was slavery. Slave trade was taking place where mostly in West Africa, this particular community was selling this particular community. For instance, I'm in this community. Let's say I'm the one that has been sold to go work somewhere. My lineage. I'm just going to start. If God bless me with a wife and everything, I'm going to start a family over there. But my family who is in Africa, they are just going to remain there. So you find, hey, my brother. Hello. Hey, bear. Come on. Yeah, guys, so you find uh, that lineage, it is interfered with. I'm just uh, taking an example of the things that I've just showed there. You know, because human being, okay, I know maybe there are some people who are abroad, but they feel like their descendants are still in Africa and they looking ways to get connected with them. But something like ant, let's say this distance here and maybe there, it is a big gap for them. Hey, my brother. Yes, Hello. Hi. Are you, you good? Hi. Okay, I'm also good. Ah, thank you so much. Guys, I just want to branch by here. You remember there is work that is taking place here? It is still early. And uh, we have to put the workers on toes. 
you know, because even if we are paying, we are paying for labor and uh, they have to be coming early, yeah, so that uh, they continue with the work. Welcome to Otenga Junior and may God bless you every day of your life, whatever you guys do. Always, I'll be coming by once I see the sun. I'm so glad. Yeah. Lord, now ready. Wow. So, as you can see here, I think they have measured, like they have batched the sand. Yeah. Number one thing that a worker does, does, sorry guys, for poor English. If you want to be a good worker or a laborer, what you need to do is, first of all, when you get to the site, you first batch the sand. Then after batching the sand, when the masons come, they can just start working. So there is a road that has been made here. This is has been made by a wheelbarrow. So as they go, you know. Yeah, so in any uh, construction site, you have to find uh, there must be a damage of the compound. There is nothing we can do about it, but uh, we'll try to make the grass to be here. Grandma Bravis, hello. How are you? You are fantastic. Yeah. Now you are cleaning your utensils. Yes. Wow, so that the masons can eat. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Yeah. I hope I'm going to eat too. Today, today you are eating a heart. You are, no, you are you are putting a heart like Nigerian. Mm. You know Nigerians <laughs> usually put igwe, <Yes>. igwe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, we have got Moses the journalist here. Moses, how are you? I'm good. How about you? I'm fantastic, man. I can see you've brought some water. Yes. Oh wow. Early morning, man. Yes. You never sleep. <laughs> and I can see you have a visitor here. Yeah. Hey, my brother. Uh, hi. What's your name? My name is Steve. Oh, Steve. Yeah. I think I've had that kind of name. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Have we met somewhere? Yes, we've met before more, more than once. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think we've met physically. Yeah. Yeah, man. You coming yeah, from Banda? I'm coming from Banda area. Oh. You guys studied together? Yeah, Moses was once my schoolmate. Oh. He studied with him. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's a great friend of mine. Yeah. And also uh, a great friend to my family. Oh, wow. So, like, now we were in a holiday. Uh -huh. I decided to come and say hi to them. Where do you study right uh, now? I'm at Kisi University. Oh, yeah. Kisi. You, you, oh, you are with Henry? Yeah, I'm with Henry. Oh. Yeah, guys, you remember Henry is a son to Baba Mike. Oh, Henry is in Kisi University. I think that is where I got to know you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you shared with me, you told me you are, you are studying in Kisi and you know this particular area. And guess what, guys? He's also a good follower of the pro progress of the project that we are running in the community here. And he's really, really in love with what is taking place, man. Thank you so much once again. And may God bless you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I know we're still here. Uh, we're still going to talk with yeah, you. Going to interact. Okay. Yeah. Aye. Hey, guys. Hey, beautiful. Beautiful kitchen. But I guess if she's using it, maybe she's like, oh, I don't want my kitchen to be dirty. My kitchen is, is beautiful. So let's see. She wants to cook outside right now. But it is good. I'm not complaining. My, my thumb. My man. Oma, all syllables. Oma, Moses. Moses. Moses, you. Moses. Yeah. Moses. <laughs> Mark some. Don't you look a calibre in my ear, dear? Don't you know me? Don't talk of cocks. I know Cosam. Ah, but then you have to know all the syllables. But Book to one more one Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, Granny saying sorry. Hey, guys, as you can see, Moses told us they have started bringing the water, and you can see who and who was helping you to bring the water. Moses told us they have started bringing the water, and you can see who and who was helping you to bring the water. Is my friend there? Oh, your friend was also helping you? Yes. Oh, wow, Mr. Steve, yeah? yeah. Oh, wow, and who? And Peter and Bravis. Oh, Peter and Bravis. Oh, wow. Then uh, Seth. And, uh, and, and Anthony, they are inside. Oh wow, okay. Then Anthony, once, oh, it is good because we have got glass. Yeah. I thought it was still open. Oh, Mr. Boone, how are you? Where's Gordon? 
Oh, I hope he's preparing to go to tuition today. Yeah. So today, Anthony has replaced Gordon. Yeah, because we want Gordon to go to school. So at least also Anthony can get something small. Because soon and very soon he's going to school. Yeah, on Monday, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so if you work from today up to Saturday, that is five days. You get your clean 2,500, then you go to school. Hey, man. Hey. People will know who Anthony is. Hmm? Wow. Mr. Seth, how are you? Your wife said hello. I met her by the way and she told me, go and tell my husband, how are you, my husband? <laughs> and I'm passing it now. I know very well. Yo, so have you taken the greeting from your wife? Yeah. Greet her back. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, oh, my friend. <laughs> 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 Guys, he's saying yes, yes. Say something, Donna. Do you love her? Very much. Very much? Yes. Have you taken her out? <laughs> For? Out, like out. maybe you guys going to chill somewhere. Yes. Where? To kiss it out. Oh, you've taken her to kiss it out? Yes. Seth, why are you lying and you, you, you have it? <laughs> guys, uh -uh. okay, Seth, in which town have you gone far? The town which I gone far. Yeah. No. Or Migori. Oh, when, when you went to visit mom? To Baba Frank? Yes. When you went to see Baba Frank in the city, that is where you've gone to. Because Moses. So, 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 Moses, you have gone to Sibakuri? Oh, yeah, the farthest Moses. Uh, he has gone. He has gone to Nyabohanze. When we went to open the uh, ceremony for Mama. Uh, no, no, not Mama Fred, but this other lady, Mama Maria. You remember we ate? Yes. Oh, so you haven't even gone to Kisi? Man! You are only in Rongo. Okay, Seth Land studied in Rongo, uh, Kitembe v Primary. <laughs> no. Now he went to Banda, Banda's Secondary, and now he's working in Kitembe Village. Hey, Amen. You it need, means I'm, a, I'm around here. You need to walk, my brother. I'm going to walk from Monday. From Monday? Yeah. Going where? Up and down Nairobi. <laughs> <laughs> Even Bonnie, where have you gone? That the farthest place you've gone so far? <laughs> oh, you've gone uh Homer Bay, he's saying Homer Bay, yeah? Yeah, Homer Bay is far. Because you know Homer Bay is another county. Oh, you've gone to Homer Bay? Man, Seth, you haven't gone to Homer Bay. You haven't? You haven't gone? Yes. Amen. <laughs> you will go one day, one time. Fish pond. Fish pond. Yeah. Wow, so as you can see, guys, uh, the batting of the sand has just begun. So today, the work is going to be from here to the door, and also we are going to go inside over there. It is fun working with the boys here. They, at least they are being taught on how to be responsible. Uh, the, I'm so uh, happy for Mr. Bonnie here. Uh, Bon is now showing them what they should supposed to do. Uh, Peter did not know what they're supposed to do. You know, Bon is a mason. Wow. Anyway, guys, life isn't fair. Why am I saying that? Masons are being paid at least, at least higher amount, but they doesn't work hard. <laughs> That's the problem. That is the problem. <laughs> that is why in life we are being told at least you have got a skill. Like for instance, you see the two, uh, the two, Mr. Vincent and Mr. Jared, in case they reach in America or maybe UK right now, they can live a fantastic life. You know there they pay people per hour. You are working for 1,000 Kenyan shillings for more, more than 11 hours here. Maybe let's say if you start working here, you'll even go home at 4 or at uh, 5, yeah? That is almost nine, 9 to 10 hours, yeah, work. But if you go to state, the money that you are being paid, this 1,000 Kenyan shillings, you will be paid per hour. Every hour, 1,000. So meaning a day, you can make 10,000 Kenyan shillings. How does it learn for us to go to <laughs> Maybe if you have got, if somebody is watching and they like your work, talk to them. They invite you as a visitor, then you make your visitor visa, you go. 
You start working over there. I need, I really pray to go to America. So you want to for go? For this job. For this job? If I can get it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what I can say. But once you reach in America, you will long, oh, I really need to come back to Africa. <laughs> no, sure. Once I reach, uh -huh. I will not dream even Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. I will not. You know? To come back Kenya. Uh -huh. Ah, no. Of course, the money, the pay is good, but you see here, you've constructed your house, you are living freely. You don't pay any amount, you know? There, per month, that house of yours, you no, not per month, but let's, yeah, I think maybe per month or per year, those who are paying rent, eh? let me say this, people that are paying rent, you pay around 150,000 Kenyan shillings. Maybe over a thousand dollars, hundred and fifty thousand Kenyan shillings for that house, for your house, you know. <laughs> yeah. So you are making ten thousand. <laughs> yeah, it is not easy everywhere, you know. Yeah, maybe somebody is making even over fifty thousand Kenyan shillings a day in US. Yeah, but the expenses are high. Of course, let's say for instance, Peter. Peter want to be a soldier. In Kenya, it might just be a dream, you know. Because, Peter, you have to have money in Kenya to be a soldier. Yes. That is right. You have to know that. You cannot just go. You have to sell cow. You have to sell your land so that they go give you a job. Guys, I'm not... Because I, I have got uh, experience. I also wanted to be one, but the dream was diminished because of lack of money. So I know what I'm talking about. If maybe I can be sued, like, hey, Tanga, why are you putting our country bad? But that is what is taking place. That is what we know here in the ground. So in America... He has to, you know, once you've reached a certain age, you have to work. You have to. That is something compulsory. The government must put you in a system that you have to work, unless if he doesn't want. Then later on, after you've worked, then you can now be free guy, you know. But here, whether you work or not, nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> like Moses wants to be a journalist, you know, if you don't work hard for it. Nobody is going to give you a job. This is Kenya. <laughs> Welcome to Africa, guys. Welcome to Kenya. But all the same, the life is good. Like, for instance, we are living in the village here. Uh, I know right now uh, life, 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 life standard is high. But uh, hmm, let me say this. There is how you can maneuver in the village here because you doesn't pay rent. You can eat sugar cane, go and do some mododo and live a life, you know. But in the U.S., you buy almost everything. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. In case maybe I talk too much, I beg your pardon. May God bless you, and we are be, we'll be catching up. For me, Tenga Junior, it is day two working here. I need to go and surprise somebody. Then we will be catching up. Plaster ongoing. Those who are happy to see Grandma Bravi's house being completed, hey, here we go. Please. We'll still request for donation. And uh, I want just to read something out here. I want to read something here. So, so far, I'm not going to talk about the window glasses, the window panes, all the work that we've done here. I just want to start for the plaster. So, for the plastering here, uh, and also you remember we received some bags of cement before so i'm not going to be talking about those because i did not put those in in, in record but i'm just talking about the current work that we are doing here uh we have bought 31 bags of cement at 900 kenyan shillings which is costing 27,900 kenyan shillings then the transportation cost was 3,000 kenyan shillings and uh, that is now totaling to 30,900 Kenyan shillings. Yeah, just, guys, I just want us to be on the same pace as you can see. Then the labor, this is our third day. But we've worked here for two days. That is the money that I've paid. So one uh, for the first day, we paid 1,000 Kenyan shillings. And the second day, we paid 3,000 Kenyan shillings. So that is uh, totaling to 34,900 Kenyan shillings. But I haven't included uh, both. Then uh, the money that we've received so far for the project was uh, 57,440 Kenyan shillings. 
For the materials, we've used uh, 30,900 Kenyan shillings. The balance is uh, 26,540. That is minus... Uh, the labor the labor i haven't included uh, since the work is still ongoing so may god bless you the hand that we try to support this project guys right now it is 8 40 8 40 a.m tuesday 30th april tomorrow is a labor day who is going to rest tomorrow because tomorrow we are respecting labor it is labor day who is going to rest tomorrow who is not going to come to work because tomorrow the president will be giving out the speech? Eh, Mason Vincent? Yep. You are like, hmm, I have to be here. No holiday for me. No holiday no. for me. <laughs> no holiday <laughs> <laughs> for the government. You, all, you, you only rest on Saturday, on Sunday, I mean? Yeah. Or if the cement is finished in the store? In the factory. <laughs> in the factory. In the factory. <laughs> Okay, no problem, guys. I will be catching up. I'm sorry for talking too much, but sometimes it's good to feel and express ourselves. May God bless you. We are going to catch up in the next part of this video. Mar? I need to. I need also to be a pigeon farmer. Because the pigeon nowadays, they are coming, every one of them are coming over here. But anyway, I'm not trying to chase them away. There are some chicken that I need to move. You know guys, I have got a problem. These chicken that are here, both of them, they want to use this particular place together. And they doesn't fight one another. And I've been trying to chase one away, but uh, it is not liking it. What I want to do is, uh, I want to do something. I don't want to chase them away anymore, but I have to do, I have to do something. Yeah, this is going to be the eating arena of the chicken. Anyway, you guys are going to get to see. The chicken have to do good, have to do good. I know maybe there is somebody who's seated somewhere. And are uh, trying to hate for everything that Otenga does. God is watching. But there are some who sit at somewhere and they love whatever is taking place. I need to take somebody here. He was at home, but he has gone to Bofang so that we give him his surprise all the way from USA to here. Oh, my brother. My brother, my brother is here, guys. How are you? Okay. You're fantastic. Yeah. yeah, so maybe you can come from this side. Uh, I think uh, it is going to be seenable. Yeah, here it is very clear. So you are Mr. Uh, Mr. Joanna. Yeah. yeah, guys, you remember? He's the guy who is having neck problem. And uh, we thank God for his mercies. Yeah. Uh, we got money. Yeah. You are going to register for NHIF yeah. mm. today. I think today is the best day. And also you got a transport on top of it. Yeah. I got 2,000 Kenyan shillings yeah. from one of our friends, one of our uh, auntie, called in his image. Yeah. yeah. So I am going to give you 2,000 from in his image. Our sister. Yeah, sister in Christ. So this is 2,000 Kenyan shillings. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. And this use 500 for transport. Yeah. 1,500 when you reach at the hospital, you register NHIF for three months. You pay three months for 1,500. Within two months, the NHIF will be active so that you can go to the hospital. Yes, you say thank you. Thank you. Sir. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> no problem, my brother. Thank you. Yeah, I know it is going to help you. Yeah. Yeah, as you can see, he is very happy. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Then inside here, I have got money. Yeah. And this is money, we got it from one of our friends called Karel Douglas Foundation through her friend. So she said, a friend watched your video and wanted to support you. It is a sum of 3,000 Kenyan shillings. Uh, 
3000 this is 3000 you can just count thank you <laughs> yeah guys this is very thank happy you, so you. the 3000 kenyan shillings can help you in thank buying you. the food for the children and maybe whatever you want yeah, thank you yeah you are so much happy yeah? thank you yeah but make sure you register for nhif yeah. please yeah yeah guys we are so much happy once this guy is happy like this it is a blessing that he has been supported wow man so thank you yeah maybe say say one last thing to them i thank you for everybody who support me i thank sir yeah yeah okay yeah thank you, you. you are highly welcome my brother <laughs> thank you sir yeah. yeah don't worry guys you can see the he is overwhelmed with happiness Wow, you are highly welcome, my brother. Keep on doing the good thing. Uh, guys, yesterday he went somewhere yeah. to go and work. And, uh, he, yeah, so unfortunately, he's also working under gold mining, yeah? yeah? Sometimes you go, but it is so, I know it is very hard. Yeah. But anyway, I know God will bless you. Yeah, yeah God will bless you in one way or the other. Yeah. Oh, our sister, where are you going to? You are carrying a big bag. We are going to the uncle's place or Nairobi. Or you'll go in the evening. Mm. Okay, safe journey yeah. and God bless you. Okay. Yeah, guys, she's leaving us. Uh, thank you, my brother. Yeah. God bless you. Yeah. Uh, safe journey as you go back. Yeah. We'll catch up. Uh, but I, I, I'm, 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 I'm hoping to get good news that you register for NHIF yeah. and you paid for three months. And the 3,000 that you get from one of our friends, you use it to buy food. Yeah. Anyway, you know what you're going to do. Yeah. No problem. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you, you, are, you are welcome. Yeah. yeah. So, guys, thank you so much. And may God bless you. From me, Otenga Jr., I'm just going to end the part of the video here. As I said, one love and God's blessings to be upon you. Hey, see you in the next video. Please, check it out. And you're going to love it.